We hope you have enjoyed our presentation. And at this time, we would like to present you with a few items that we hope will serve as a remembrance of your visit with us. First, please accept this photo of our kindergarten through eighth grade student body and our faculty that was recently taken in our beautiful church while it was decorated for Christmas. We would also like to present you with a copy of our Christmas Carol CD that was recorded by our students. It is comprised of nine carols in Polish, followed by those same carols in English. We hope they will provide you with a pleasurable listening experience each year. And finally, our students have made a card for you where students in every grade have signed it. Thank you for honoring us with your visit, and we hope you have enjoyed it. We now invite you to say a few words. My dear friends, I am so honored to be with you today. It is a great day because I see many faces, and those faces are happy, are happy. When I was thinking about the key word for today's sermon, I would say the key word is a family. A family. Family is the foundation of our life. And over here in St. Stanislaus Koska Academy, I see a great family. The family of religious, the family of teachers, with the principal of this school, the family of priests, parents, board of directors of this academy, but especially the family of you as a children and young adults, very gifted and very talented. Under the leadership of your teachers, you do the best work that we can imagine in this special place dedicated to the students. When I saw today's performance and I listened to the music of Frédéric Chopin, I was thinking about the anniversary of his birth. This year we celebrate 210th anniversary of the birth of Frédéric Chopin. He was, and he is, a famous composer, Polish-born. Do you know where he was buried? You don't. He was buried in France, in Paris. In Paris, there is a famous cemetery, Père Lachaise, the cemetery of Père Lachaise. And Frédéric Chopin was buried there, he passed away when he was 39. He was very young, 39 of age. And on his grave, always on his grave, we see up to now the fresh flowers. The people from all over are coming and offer the flowers on the grave of Frederick Chopin, up to now. The other grave where the flowers are is the grave of Edith Piaf. So, Frédéric Chopin and Edith Piaf, they were buried in the same place in Perlachez, 
cemetery. And also this year is dedicated to another person, to John Paul II. Do you know who he was? Who he was? He was the Pope, the Pope. And he was born in which country he was born? Where? Poland. Poland. Do you know the place of his birth? Vado. Vado And before he, he became a Pope, he was a cardinal of the city of Kraków. Kraków, that's right. So also we will celebrate that. Do you know something more? We know, so, we know so. Do Vadovic, Bruch. Do you remember that? Uh oh. Do you he has the picture of you. <laughs> Great. And now, the present Pope. Who is the present Pope? Pope? He has a very famous name Francis. Pope Francis. He's a great, wonderful man, the man of example, good and deep faith, and he's a great leader of the church. So I know that you that you have great knowledge because of your great teachers, your parents, family members who support you every day. So this day, the visit over here in your wonderful place, it is very dear to my heart. And all of you are so dear to my heart. Thank you for being a student of this academy, great teachers of this academy, great pastors and leaders. It is a wonderful place. It is the day of joy and happiness to celebrate the Catholic School Week in the Diocese of Brooklyn because you are a part of the Diocese of Brooklyn as well. Our wonderful diocese takes care of the Catholic education and the Catholic identity. So thank you for being a part of that. Okay, this concludes our assembly, so teachers, you may start taking your students.